Hello everyone, it's me again. Today I'm gonna show you the world's easiest way to create a typewriter's effect, a cinematic typewriter's effect with your Final Cut Pro 10. And let's get started. So obviously the first step is to create a new project and drag all your clips, your short films, your movies or your music video into it. And secondly, we need to go to the good old fashioned Microsoft Word. And once you've come to this new document, this blank document, you need to do the following step. You need to press Command, Shift and 5 on your MacBook to start a screen recording. And please remember, once you've already started the recording, do not type anything after 3 seconds or so, just to make sure that everything is being recorded. And let's go to this document and start typing. But before I type anything, I'm just gonna press enter a few times. And then I'm gonna type, this is a story, full stop. A love story, da 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 da. Yep, completely random, but yep, just to show you guys how this is done. Please remember to stop recording after you've finished typing everything and count to three. Yep, just to make sure everything is being recorded properly. Come back to your Final Cut Pro 10's interface and then go to Finder and find the screen recording. For me, yep, it's in the Documents folder. I'm just gonna rename this screen recording to say Typewriter. Yep, and drag this to the timeline. Yep, something like that. And before anything else, remember to mute this video. We don't want any unnecessary sound. Yep, and just to hit a quick replay, and you see that there's some parts that is not necessary at the beginning. So I'm gonna start around here and I'm gonna just cut away all the slacks and bring it forward and go to the back. Yep, and maybe just to reduce the whole duration to around a few seconds and go to the start, select this clip and go to the inspector over here. I want you guys to scale up the entire thing to around the ratio to be like this. Yep, and go to compositing, blend mode and click on this and choose color burn or linear burn it doesn't really matter for this one and once you've already click one of them you see that this thing appears and <laughs> yep the background disappears and you can reposition the effect to something like this and hit play Yep, that's a very simple typewriter's effect. And this is simple because you don't need any any knowledge on your Final Cut Pro other than just to adjust a couple of settings over here on your inspector. And this is not very customizable because simply because you can't really change the font over here. But you can always change your font and all the settings over here. At your document you can change say outlines something like that and just to show you guys I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this and maybe just to apply it on my clip over here and that's the end and I'm gonna change the blend mode over here Yep, this is a story, a love story. Yeah, this like something similar to just now, but you know the word, the font is a little bit more fancy as compared to the very default and basic in the beginning. Alternatively, you can always select 
this clip and change back the blend mode to no more and go to the effects tab and find here drag it over here and click on sample color in the in inspectors tab and just select the white color and go to the color selection drag this down so the color is in black and now you can change the colors over here if you want sometimes be careful because if you change colors too much it might affect the overall appearance of the entire clip so yep just do it wisely and be very 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 observant to the colors changes so this becomes green in color or if you want it to be in white color you can go here the exposures tab and just bring it all the way up and once you hit play obviously it changes everything the entire color Yep. Finally, without much, I need to first get some very basic LUTs. So I'm just gonna use the very default custom LUT option over here at the, the effects tab, and I'm gonna just choose uh, some random LUT that it's I've recently, you know, introduced to you guys in the Cinepunch pack. So obviously it's like sort of a ritual kind of a color and if you don't really like this I can always change this to um, change a different LUT yep. bring up the mix something like that and the last step will be to add in a cinema scope and this thing is going to be freaking good looking let's hit replay And yep, for the overall result to be best, you need to have sound effects. So come to the sound effects tab and type typewriters. I think this one is already in default and you can play it. The electric one is much better. So I'm just gonna drag it over here. Yep, there's a stop over here, so I'm gonna just pause when this is a full stop. And I think the second sound is better suited with the second part of the text so I'm using the second typewriter's sound effect on this one yep this is kind of like a standard music video kind of effect typewriter effect and obviously you can change much if you want on your Microsoft Word app and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoy it and please remember to subscribe and hit that like button and this means a lot to me and thank you guys bye bye